So it says that I'm on, but I don't see the live button. So I know y'all don't have picture yet. So I'm going to wait till I see the live button down there. Um, let me see. Let me close the window back there to see if it'll get brighter. Oh, there it is. I know y'all don't have picture yet, so I'm gonna wait till I see the live button down there. Um, can't fix the lighting. Maybe if I turn the window back there, just see it'll get brighter. Okay, it's really, really super washed out. Let me see. What can I do differently? Okay, well, maybe that's better. I don't know. Okay, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Wake Up with Glamour on my Made with Love by Glamour channel. I see that there's already some ladies in here. Kay is in here, Rose is in here, Lily's in here. And I'm in my bedroom today, and I'm sorry that I'm a few minutes late. Um, yeah, we got some animal issues going on that I had to put some in the bathroom and bring some in here with me and oh, I'm gonna sneeze now Ooh. <laughs> maybe not false alarm okay so um, yeah we're gonna try this in here and see how uh, how it goes instead of doing it daily on my wake up with glamma so I will let y'all know what I've done since I talked to y'all on Friday and then I will open it up to y'all for comments questions or whatever for me um, but until then if you don't mind holding off on the comments and i have to play catch up later that'll be awesome <laughs> all right so this weekend i had the glamour girls here so yay that was awesome and it was nice there was a couple days where it was like in the 70s um almost 80s even so we uh spent a lot of the weekend outside we barbecued outside and um dribbled some ball out in front of the RV and stuff and um, listened to some music, some country music, some Tejano music, and um, just did some goofy stuff. You know, like always, my family's just a goofy family, so <laughs> we were out there a lot. Something that did happen that I didn't tell y'all about on Friday, um, I think it was Thursday. Y'all know that I got my husband a, a German Shepherd. Well. She's such a loving dog, very, very friendly and loving and very um, um, humble with, with humans, but with the animals, I think she's tasted blood before, so she's not that nice to my cat, and she uh, got a hold of my 16-year-old chihuahua, see, oh, she had to, oh, you can't tell, but she had to have stitches, see, right there. Oh, she had to have four stitches. The tooth didn't penetrate down into the, um, what do you call it? Down into the organs or anything. It tore the skin and went into the muscle tissue, I think, a little bit, but didn't hit anything major or anything. But we had to take her to the um, vet hospital, the emergency vet hospital. I believe it was Thursday night. And so Friday morning when I did my live event on Wake Up With Glamma, I was a little out of sorts because we had just spent the whole night at the hospital. Um, but she'll be fine. But we did find out a bunch of other things about Miss Jules, which I knew that she had a heart murmur. Um, but she does have heart disease. And um, she's in stage three of renal failure. Her kidneys are going bad. Um, so I knew something was up with the kidneys or something was up with something because she's always drinking water, constantly wanting to drink water. I guess her body knows she needs to flush her own body out. So she's been drinking lots and lots of water. She's been going potty, having to go potty like every 15, 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, if you can hold off on your comments and stuff, please, ladies, so that I don't have to play catch up. I'll open it up to y'all here shortly. Um, but anyway... Yeah, so it's it's a little sad. I, I started crying at the hospital because the doc there made it sound even less hopeful than what our veterinary let us 
or our vet on Monday gave us better hope, or not not Monday on Friday, gave us better hope than um, than what the doc at the hospital did. I told him, yeah, I've been trying to wrap my brain around the fact that my Julesy baby isn't going to be around much longer because she's 16. I said, I know that she'll probably not be here for more than two years. The doc went like this. I said, a year? She goes, she says, I'd give her six months. And uh, instant tears just came out of my eyes. And so that was sad. Um, but Monday, the doc checked her out. Um, her urinalysis came out good, a lot better than than um, it should for someone that is in stage three renal failure. Um, so she's fighting. She's a fighter. She's just like her mama. She's a little fighter. <laughs> She'll be around, he thinks, for about another year or two even. So we'll see. And uh, so we've got her on heart medicine that she'll be on for the rest of her life. And um, what else? Oh, we've got her on a special renal diet, a kidney diet, which we haven't started yet. We're going to start it. He told us to kind of wean her into it. Um, he says, continue giving her the food that she's getting and then just throw in a little bit of the, of the new stuff. And then little by little, just add less and less of the food that she's used to. Because I guess um, they've tried and tried and tried to make renal diet food a lot better tasting but supposedly it's very very bland so the animals don't take to it very often or too good they, they don't take to it um, very well but hey I'm gonna have to force her to uh, <laughs> to take it because I want her around as long as possible look at her looks like she's winking at you are you winking at them yes are you winking at them <laughs> oh hey I covered my grays y'all <laughs> that's something else I did this weekend and um let me see. Oh, my, my kids are going to be switching RVs because my daughter right now is single and lives on her own. And so she's in the bigger RV with slide outs um, because I was trying to make her life comfortable because she didn't really want to come down to Texas. So I thought, well, I'm going to give her the better RV. And so we did. But now she's adjusted. And so we're going to give her the one that my son is living in. Um, the one that he's living in is a motor home. It actually, you can drive it, but it doesn't have slide out. So it's very narrow. And so when my granddaughters come to stay with him, it's the three of them in there. And he's got all of his stuff in there. He's got their stuff in there and their toys. And I said, babe, I told my daughter, Finesse, I said, babe, I think I'm going to make y'all switch. Okay. Because it's just you. Um, and and so you'll be better off in the, in, the, in the slimmer one. And Daniel and the girls will be better in the ones with the slide out. So they're going to do that this week or not this weekend. I think next weekend. So that's kind of exciting for the girls. They're kind of happy about it. They'll have room on the floor to spread out their board games and play with their Barbies and stuff. Um, let me see what else. I'm sorry. My top is a little low. Um, let me see what else has been going on. Um, I don't know. I think I'm just going to open it up to y'all. And as I think of more things that I've done this week, I will just let y'all know. Okay, so I'm going to go and read and see what people are saying. Kay, which is eccentric sister, says, hey, Leticia, back from New Orleans. Can't wait to get my crochet organized and done. Be happy to see you. Great. Good morning. I'm doing a vest. Cool, a vest. Wow, is that your pattern or are you following someone's pattern? Let me see. And then I made a comment and I said, I'm here, camera starting. I'll take comments in a little bit. And then Rose says, good morning, Glamma. Good morning. Lily says, pick and sound, yay. Eccentric Sister says, I have a pick and sound, light is good. You know, it's really, really bright for some reason. If I back up, if Think, I think it gets better, but I'm at a different angle in my bedroom. I'm right in front of the lamp right there, and I thought, well, that's the same setup that I had over there in the at the dining table, and the and the lighting was good over there, so I thought I would sit in front of this lamp, but it's washing me out, but that's okay. <laughs> then you can't see my fine lines, which is awesome. <laughs> I'd rather be washed out than for y'all to be able to see my fine lines. <laughs> 
Um, Kay says, I have animal issues too. My son's cat, 20 years old, not doing well, going to the vet. Oh, I just lost a cat that we had had for, I don't know, my daughter's 23. We got her, him, I mean, it was whiskers, of, he was a boy, got him when she was about 10 or so. And he was already probably a year old when we got him. So yeah, we lost him recently. But I think I told y'all about that already once before. <laughs> Um, Rose says, I'm sorry to hear that about your fur babies. Yeah, so we don't know what we're going to do with Willow. I mean, every single person that we talk to, the vets, the docs, just people in general that have had issues to the first thing they say is you have to rehome the German Shepherd because once they've tasted blood, it's just instinctual to just go for things that are smaller and weaker than them. And um, as many of y'all probably know, because a lot of us crafters seem to be pet people, but we're very loving, caring people, aren't we, us crafters? And, and usually people that are very loving and caring have a lot of pets <laughs> or have pets. And as y'all probably know, um, dogs in packs and stuff or any kind of animals that are in packs, when there's a weaker one or an older, weaker one, they kind of eliminate that, that weaker one. And... For about a year now, my 10 pound Yorkie, Paris, has been picking on Jules. She never did it before. You know, we've had Paris for about three or four years now. She never picked on Jules before until Jules started showing signs of aging, of getting older and weakness. All of a sudden she started picking on her, just like snapping at her like that, you know, and showing her teeth as she's snapping at her. And now Willow's doing the same thing, so we think that they're 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 sensing that she's old and she's on her way out and they're trying to help her get on her way out and we're not going to have that <laughs> but everyone that we come in contact with is telling us that we probably need to rehome willow the german shepherd that i just got my husband but we've fallen in love with her already and she's such a sweet dog to us but i don't want this one to be living in fear for the rest of her little life um so we're trying to figure it all out. We'll see what, what ends up happening. Um, I'll let y'all know what we end up doing. Okay. Eccentric Sister says, let's all pray for her sweet puppy. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and um, I'll pray for your son's kitty cat. Yeah, poor thing. Um, Lisa Wilkins, hi, says, morning, Glamma. Nice to see you and hear from you. I was in Glamma withdrawal. Aw. <laughs> I know. I kind of was, too. It was like, wow. It seems like I haven't done a live event in forever, and I was nervous coming on again because I'm not used to it. But, yeah, I, I, was in, um, I was in my crochet friend withdrawal, too. <laughs> Jones Blues and Jam. Hi. You were here on Friday for a short, short little couple minutes. You're back. And she says, good morning, Glamo. I forgot what your actual name is. I think you told me and I forgot. I'm sorry. Um, Lily says, crying my eyes out after you telling us about your dog. Oh, I'm sorry, Lily. Yeah, that's that was me at the at the at the vet hospital. I was crying too. I was whew, it was instant tears and um yeah, I couldn't hold it back, and I wasn't even trying to hold it back because I care for this little baby girl. She's been with me since she was six weeks old. Yeah, she was just like a little hamster size when I got her. Yeah, she loves me so much, and I love her so much. Mm -hmm. Don't you? Mm -hmm. Don't you love me so much? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See how she leans into me when I rub on her? <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh, Lily, death is a sore subject. Lost a friend to cancer this weekend. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. Oh, no one knew he had it, so we're all in shock. Oh, my word. I got instant tears just now when you said that. I'm so sorry for you. Um, uh, was it a he, a she? I mean, I. A lot of people, we don't always know what to say when someone loses someone. Sorry. <laughs> See, I told you I got instant tears. And, um, and one thing that always pops into my head when someone does lose someone is to ask 
what was the person like? Um, and you, and then I think, no, you don't want to ask them that because they probably don't want to talk about that person. But I think I would want to, if I lost someone, I would want to tell everyone how great that person was and what that person meant to me. And um, I'm very sorry for, um, for your loss, Lily. And uh, if you want to talk about him or her and let us know about him or her, I would love, I would love to know a little bit about them. And uh, yeah, I'll be praying for you and that um, you're able to uh, get strength to make it through this difficult time. And uh, whew, that's just a hard thing. It's a hard thing to know what to say. But I know that a lot of times we just want to curl up in a ball and just, you know, mourn. And sometimes that's what we need to do for a little while. And then, um, and then just think about the fact, would that person want us to just continue that way and stay that way? And, and no, I don't think so. I think the person would want us to live for them, you know, um, continue to live our life and stuff. Um, and be happy. You know, because I'm sure they were happy when they were, when they were still living and and everything else. So yeah, I'm sorry. I'm kind of at a loss of words here, but anyway, um, I'm really sorry about that. You had a really tough weekend. Eccentric sister says mine. I'm making it up and it's working. I'll send a pic. Oh, you're making up your own vest. Yay! I can't wait to see the pic. Teresa Gwen says, morning, I made it. I was lost. You were lost. Did you go to wake up with Glamour this time? <laughs> um, Rose says, I have a few projects that I'm working on. I go from one project to another. I haven't finished, but now I started on a baby blanket for my future granddaughter that will be born next month. Yay, babies are so awesome. <laughs> I love the smell of a newborn baby. <laughs> And Lily says, a man, he was 62, got to know his amazing personality through my mom. They had a thing some years back, but that ended and we all just stayed friends. He was the best, cared for everyone. Thank you, she says. Aw, well, um, please, you know, let your mom know that I'm sorry as well. And uh, wow, sounds like he was a very caring person for y'all to have stayed in contact with him and everything. Well, um, oh, I can hear snoring going on. Oh, that's my, uh, okay, something else that has happened. My word, my kids just keep um, giving us animals. <laughs> my daughter, when she got here, had a pug, had a, um, a Yorkie with a missing eye. She adopted it, and it already had a missing eye and very, very few teeth. Well, she um started working here started dating and now she doesn't have time for these animals and so she gave us the yorkie she was gonna get rid of it and i said babe i'll take it until we can find a good home for it she says i'm only gonna keep my cat and jackson the pug and i said okay we'll take her and um and if and we'll find her a good home or maybe we'll just keep her but so anyway, she's laying on the bed snoring. Her name is Astrid. She named her from the movie White Oleander. My daughter loves that movie. She has the books, the actual hard copy book. She has audio book of White Oleander. She watches the movie all the time. And so she named her from that movie. <clears throat> but another thing that just immediately when she told me, she says, Mom, I have to tell you something. And I said, what? And she says, I have a friend at work um, and they own a pug farm and I said you gave Jackson away and she says yesterday and I immediately as if one of my children had died I started bawling I said finesse and I was just like <laughs> I was just doing the ugly cry I can't believe you gave them away he was like my grandson and you should have told me I would have taken Jackson way quicker than I would have taken Astrid. I don't even know Astrid that well. Jackson, I bought you as a present when he was like six weeks old and I just had a horrible weekend <laughs> crying my eyes out over over Jackson. And so now he's in a, she goes, but he's in a pug farm. He didn't even know when I left mom. 
And I said, well, of course not. He had fun. He probably just thought you dropped him off like a little doggy daycare or something and probably fully expects you to come back and get him. And ah, I was so upset. I just cried and cried. She goes, mom, please, please stop crying. And she goes, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And I said, well, can you text your friend and say that we didn't know you were giving him away and that we want him. We want to keep him in the family. And and she says, no, mom, I've made my decision. So I said, Finesse, if you've ever loved me, you'll do this. You'll ask your friend to give him back to you so that we can take him. She wouldn't do it. I can't understand why she wouldn't get Jackson back for me. As much as I've done for my kids, I can't believe that she wouldn't get him back for me. I wanted him to live his last few years with us, with family. But ay, 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 I don't understand kids sometimes. Oof. Anyway, I'm going to get off that because it's still a sore subject with me. I still miss miss him a lot, and um, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, hey, someone new is in here. Val Valencia? I think it's, it's Valencia. McNeil, Valencia. I will be going to your page and learning the third lesson on crochet. For beginners, I made two pot holders that will be turned into pockets for a girly utility belt. Thanks for the easy instructions. I never thought of using those for that. That is awesome. Is it is it Valencia? Am I saying it right? What a pretty name. Um, good. Yay, you're learning. You'll be in here talking crochet with us in no time. <laughs> um, and I think what I'm going to do, I've been thinking about, I've been mulling this around in my head for a while, is I think I'm going to make a new series of beginner crochet lessons just because um, there's a couple of them where I cut them off abruptly. And the reason I did that, I went back and did that after I filmed them because I noticed that I had made some mistakes. And so I went in where the mistake is, I cut it off. So it looks like the the uh, videos end abruptly but i wanted to do that rather than someone do it wrong so i cut it off at a certain point and i keep getting comments like um i think your video got cut off suddenly excuse me i keep burping always on camera i burp <laughs> um and you know rather than sit there and explain i thought you know what i just need to make a new set of beginner instructions but the video that is there is correct instructions I just I cut off this part that I had made a mistake on and that wouldn't easily be corrected by just putting an annotation on there. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to cut it off because I don't want to confuse anyone. It's one of them. It's on where I'm using orange yarn. I don't know which lesson that is. Is it half double crochet maybe? I don't know. But anyway, I think I'm going to go back and I'm going to make those beginner lessons all over again. And maybe I'll just make it all into one video. Just take a couple minutes for each um, lesson. There's six lessons. I think I'll just take a couple minutes for each one and just make it one video and just put like a little chapter on there and saying, okay, lesson two, um, half double crochet, lesson three, double crochet and do something like that. But that's awesome that you're learning. Yay. Thanks for crocheting with me. And Lily says, Red Heart is out of stock of my color crisis i am almost halfway on my front of the poncho yay that takes forever to finish that poncho if you're doing the one that i did man it takes forever to finish that poncho doesn't it well it depends on how big you're making it how long you're making it but it took forever to finish um everyone was like where's the poncho tutorial where is it at but it's i had to finish it and it took forever for me to finish <laughs> to finally upload it um, and she also started on her Tunisian scarf, she says, in the round. Yay! My summer blanket is on a break, and I'm knitting another scarf. I love how my Tunisian scarf in the round turned out. It totally evolved from what I, from what I initially had pictured it to be. I had just pictured it to be a little thin, yarn, little thin scarf to go down, and then you could double it up and wear it around here and down here. But... It totally evolved. I put tassels on it. I put a little edging, a double crochet edging and stuff on it. So I really, really love how it turned out. Maybe I'll wear that. I was going to wear it today. I was going to take my white top off of my mannequin spring and the scarf and wear it today. But I totally forgot that I was going to do that. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that for next Monday. I'll wear my scarf and my white top. I'll take my clothes off of spring. She's wearing my clothes, by the way, you guys. Whenever you see her, um, she's wearing my jeans and she's wearing my tops all the time. <laughs> so I always dress her in my stuff. 
Okay, I got a big old Barbie. <laughs> um, Kay says, have you heard of Altered States? 60s crocheted stuff, new store. No, never heard of that. Valencia says, yes, like the Spanish city. Val like Valencia, Valencia? Even though it's a Y, so it's not Valencia, it's Valencia. Very pretty name. Lily says, orange yarn is the sizing up lesson. Oh, yeah, but I think I also used orange. I did do that on that, where um, how to size things up or down, a pattern up or down. But I think I also used orange yarn on one of my one through six beginner lessons, I believe. I just don't know which lesson it is. Actually, I can probably look it up. <laughs> um, but let me see what else. Um, Kay says, you should sell them even though they are online. I would buy, so I would have some things I've made and give it to my granddaughter. Should sell what? I should sell some stuff, some of my stuff. Lily says, doesn't take so long. I make 12 to 15 rows a night while watching a movie. Been a little slack on crocheting this weekend. Yeah, maybe it just took me long because I have to make tutorials for different channels and I have to be on Facebook. I have... A lot of stuff going on so maybe that's why it takes me so long i don't know <laughs> got a lot of things on my plate all the time um let me see if i can find my channel on here okay comments have run out i'm sure there's comments it just needs to refresh meanwhile i will look on here see if i can find which lesson i'm using orange yarn On my one through six because I do believe I used orange yarn on one of those and I think that one and maybe the one where I'm using green yarn I think I cut off those um, videos kind of abruptly because I didn't want they were pretty big not big mistakes but like instead of crochet like if there's a chain three I think on one of them I accidentally at the end of the row I chained into the chain two instead of the chain three just little mistakes like that that would eventually make your work go like that and i thought oh my word i can't have people messing up on my account um okay so here i am on my channel <laughs> let me go see if i can find which lesson i used orange yarn okay so there's no other comments yet so i'll just keep looking on here uh oh what happened i lost y'all Okay, Valencia says, lesson two, pink nail polish. So that's where I'm using the orange yarn. And is that the one where I cut it off abruptly? Um, and then Kay says, the beginner's crochet stuff, I really think they would sell. The beginner's crochet stuff. Hmm. Oh, you mean the, the lessons you mean that I should sell them on DVDs or something? Is, is that what you're talking about? Sounds like that's what you're talking about. Okay. Oh, I have someone new in here. Oh, wait, but first, Lily says, probably wouldn't take so long if I wasn't having my mind on so many projects at once, you know? I was thinking, should you put out some purchase patterns on your website? I'd sure buy it. Well, that's actually what I'm going to do. When I told y'all that I was going to be putting um, written patterns simplified glamour simplified written patterns on my website that's actually what i'm going to do i'm going to be selling the pdfs of them um they're not going to just be on there for free because the there's a lot of um stuff that spring has worn like that white top that everyone keeps asking me for the pattern that's something that i'm holding on to and i'm not making a free tutorial on that because that is a very very um dear dear pattern of mine that I put a lot of thought and time into that one I don't want to I don't want just out there for free that one I'm going to probably sell the pattern so um that's one of the things that eventually will be on my website I don't know if you remember me saying that I was going to put simplified patterns written patterns on my website but that's what I'm going to do I'm going to have all my tutorials on there all on one page and I'm also going to be selling patterns when I finally get around to it. I haven't written one yet, guys. Sorry. I've been so busy, but I will eventually have them on there. Okay, so the new person that I said I had on here was Autumn. Autumn's, is it, is it Sewell? 
she says, good morning, Glamall. When I first started crocheting, I came across your ch channel and I loved all the projects that you did. I love crocheting now. Thank you for doing the awesome tutorials. You're very welcome. And welcome to Wake Up With Glamma on my Made With Love by Glamma channel. <laughs> I had been, I don't know if you knew, but I had been doing this live event every day on my Wake Up With Glamma channel, but I'm taking some time off from that. And I'm going to be doing them here every Monday for a while. So welcome. <laughs> and uh, let me see. Valencia says yes. Eccentric sister says Tess. And then she says yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, she, she's talking about me selling my beginner lessons on DVD. And I might. I just, I don't have the setup for it right now. Um, I did the barefoot sandal DVD and that actually did pretty good. And then, like I told y'all, I left this. I left all the uploaded stuff on my laptop up in Washington, and so I couldn't fill orders. But I might do that again um, because everyone. One of the things that people keep telling me is they talk about how um, easy my projects are. They say that I really love how you explain things. You explain every detail. And I also hear that they love that I explain the things that I had problems with when I was starting. So like at the end of rows, I say, make sure to go into this stitch or else or else your work will end up like this. Wow. And so I, I'm always hearing that, that they like the way that I explain things and that is something that makes me feel so good because when I first started this channel, I didn't know what I was doing. I still don't always know what I'm doing and if I'm explaining it right. So I always worry that I'm not um, articulating my thoughts or the instructions in a way that is easy for y'all to understand. So it makes me feel good whenever someone does tell me that they like how I explain it. So thank you. Um, um, so yeah, I, I, I might just make more dvds and stuff i just have so much on my plate right now i need to just step back from certain things and uh so that i can do things like that like make dvds and stuff lily says great thank you for wanting to sell them to us really appreciate love how your mind works so i'm really looking forward to buying patterns from you oh you're welcome another thing i'm planning on doing i've said this since the when I made that white top on spring that you see in a lot of my stuff, <clears throat> as soon as I made that pattern and someone saw it in, on the background of a craft show, as soon as people started commenting on it, I thought, ah, oh. and then they'd see my other designs and they'd say, oh, do you have a written pattern? Well, I immediately started thinking, I need to make, I need to make a, a, a pattern book. I need to write a pattern book, but I don't even know how to write patterns yet. I can follow them, but, I don't know how to write it in the traditional sense and don't really want to write it in the traditional sense because they're confusing. So one of these days I'm going to put out a book, <laughs> Glamour Simplified Patterns or whatever, or something. I don't know. I'll name it something. I'll come up with something clever. <laughs> Lily says, and about that animal issues, my cat's rescue, my cat's a rescue cat. And for two years I've struggled making her feel safe. But when it comes to other people, it just won't do. She's so traumatized. Aw, trying out everything. Aw, that's sad. Yeah, I've seen your cat, your black and white kitty. She's so pretty. She? Is it a she? Yeah, you say she. Yeah, she's very, she's really cute. And then Lily says, whoa, a whole lot of zeros in that number. <laughs> I know, that's what I just said. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. I think it's... um. Might be my Verizon saying that I'm using too much data on my phone because these live events take up a lot of data, 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 whatever, tomato, tomato. <laughs> um, let me see. Yeah, there's no other comment. So I'm still looking for. So I don't know if Valencia says. OK, so I think that's why she was saying yes, that that is the orange yarn that I was using was on lesson two where I'm wearing pink nail polish. OK. So so I don't need to keep looking it up then, right? Oh, here's the, uh, here's where I was selling that DVD for my, the springtime barefoot sandals. Yeah. Do I still have that up there? Why do I still have that up there if I'm not selling the DVD anymore? So anyway, I'll just quit looking. <laughs> 
so yeah that's a plan i have a lot of plans guys i um my mind is always thinking you know it's you spend a lot more time when you work for yourself than when you go to an actual job and you can clock in clock out you're done with it when you're building your own little business it takes so much more time and i'm constantly from like as soon as i wake up as i'm with my coffee i'm commenting emailing people back you know that's part of you know building building things building a rapport with everyone and wanting everyone to feel comfortable with me and uh trying to get to know everyone so that for lots of reasons because i want to feel more comfortable when i talk to y'all so i love getting to know y'all um and i want them to know me and so it just it takes a lot more time when you're when you work for yourself um and i've got so many ideas that i try out and test out and so yeah, pattern book, written patterns for sale on my website. Um, oh, there's so many things that I've, I've thought about that I won't even mention until I'm ready, till I'm a little closer to actually trying them out. But yeah, you're gonna, I'm always trying to think of new fresh things to bring to y'all. <laughs> okay, no more comments. Okay, Lily says, yeah, it is a she. Her nerves are starting to make her have other issues also. Oh, so I'm sort of torn apart because I fear that in the end I have to put her to sleep and I don't want that. No, of course not. But yeah, if she's becoming a nervous wreck, I mean, that's not good either. I wonder, um, I was at Walmart the other day and I was looking for, because the, the dog that my daughter gave me, Astrid, the Yorkie, um she was she was um waking up and she was full of pee she was she wasn't holding her urine so i thought well let's see if there's because i know we had bought tablets before for jewels when she was kind of incontinent there for a while um and she didn't know that she was urinating and i know we had bought her some tablets that you can buy to help control bladder but we left them in washington so i was looking for some for the other dog but I, but I also, so, okay, my point is, is that I noticed some calming tablets for dogs and for cats. I wonder if maybe purchasing some calming tablets for your cat might work. It might kind of calm her down and relax her a little bit so that we don't have to put her down. Oh, and someone in here named Joe Barreto says, hello. Hi. Hey, you were one of my... Um, runner-up winners for i believe it was the crochet light hook right i remember your name <laughs> how are you doing and you are a, a, a gentleman right i think you um because a lot of times women use their husbands or their boyfriends accounts when they come on here but i do remember thinking that you are one of my gentleman subscribers yay welcome <laughs> um yeah, so you're one of the 20 something, 24% of male subscribers that I have on my YouTube channel. That is so awesome. I love it. I wish my husband would take up crocheting or knitting or something too. And then Kay says, you should hire Lily. She she should she could come to America, maybe get a second job and you get a book. <laughs> yeah, I even mentioned that during one of my live events. Um, I don't have the money for a book right now, but uh, yeah, I uh, when I was doing photography, I used to put, I, I, I used to do wedding photography and I would put all their pictures, like 500 pictures into a coffee table book, bunch of pictures in one book. And I was thinking of maybe using that publishing company for my pattern book. And what I do is I make it myself they you know put it into a book form and everything and then i just let everybody know to go to that site and they can purchase it so that's something that i've been kicking around in my head as well so let me refresh because all the comments i've caught up to all of them i have got to figure out lighting seriously this is awful i look like a ghost <laughs> okay so there's no other comments yet i just refreshed we're at 1045, so I've got 15 more minutes in here. Um, yeah, I'm looking at my room back there. You can see my makeup area. I wonder if I turned those lights on, if it would make things better or if it would make it worse. Hmm, I don't know. So yeah, there's my, where am I, am I pointing at the right thing? There's my 
makeup stand that some of y'all might have seen on my um on my glamour's beauty and fitness journal my acrylic makeup organizer um i love it but it is kind of expensive you guys um i'll let you know right now it's like 180 dollars, but it's well worth it to me because all my makeup is in there i don't have to go looking for things everywhere um and then that little round mirror right there that's i use that little round mirror let me see there's no comment so i'm just going to walk around a little bit <laughs> right here this lights up and that's what i put my makeup on or i use that to put my makeup on because a lot of times i open up the window and when I sit in front of the window, it makes my it makes my face look blue. So I bought this at a thrift store, and it's got like a yellow lighting, so it kind of balances out the blue coming from the window, along with the yellow. And uh, so yeah, that's where I do my makeup tutorials. But I still have to figure out a better setting even for that. And then right here is my closet with all my stuff. It's really messy right now. <laughs> All my handbags up there, all my clothes right there. Yep. And this is Adam's closet right there. It's got hanging clothes. Right here are drawers. There's three drawers. You can pull those out, though, and you can put a, uh, a washing machine in there, though. I wonder if this will help the lighting. Let me see. If this. Sometimes if you have lighting behind you, tends to not wash me out as much. Okay, nope, still washed out. Well, actually, is that a little bit better? I think that's actually a little bit better, but now it's kind of distracting, huh, having all that light <laughs> back there. Okay, um, Lily says, do you have any special plans this week, Leticia? Um, let me see, I am going to be making a, uh, I'm going, to be making the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle tutorial this weekend because a lot of people asked for that. I, I did a poll question on my uh, Facebook group page and said, would you, because I was getting a lot of requests for um, the Scooty that I made and I was getting a lot of requests for the Tunisian Crochet in the Round and for the Ninja Turtle hats. So I didn't know which order to do it in. So I did a poll question and um, that's the order that everyone was saying that they wanted to see the Scooty and then the Tunisian crochet in the round, and then the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle hat. So that's what I'm doing next. Um, so I'm going to be doing that this week. Let me see. Wilma. Wilma. Hohensey? Is it Hohensey? Are you in a camper or motorhome? I'm in, a, I'm in an RV. I'm in a, um, what do you call it? A fifth wheel. Um, so... This area right here, the whole bedroom, and it's actually a really big bedroom. Um, when it's a little cleaner, I'll, I'll kind of give you all a little tour. Have you seen those motor homes where it's long and then it goes up like this and then it goes like that? Well, the part that is short up here, that's called the overhang. That's the bedroom. And, the, and then underneath is a hookup and you hook it up to your truck and you can pull it. So this is a fifth wheel. It's a 38 foot fifth wheel. And it has four slide outs. Man, slide outs make such a huge difference too. Um, it makes you feel like you're in a studio apartment rather than a skinny little sardine can. <laughs> All right, let me see. So she says, "Are you in a camper or a motorhome?" So yeah, I'm in a I'm in a fifth wheel RV. And are you right now in a motor? Okay. So, okay, she asked it twice. Okay, and then Lisa says, I would love to learn to crochet a tank top for summer. Yeah, I have plans on that too. I have so many ideas. I, ha I have a book written down on things that I'm going to eventually make tutorials on, but I keep getting requests from everyone. And so I want to give y'all what you want. Um, babe, can you get me my charger? My battery's got 8% left, I'm sorry. Um, but I do, I have all kinds of plans. I have I have a book of drawings. When an idea pops into my head, I draw it so that I won't forget to make a tutorial on it later. So, oh, I'm down to 7%, babe. <laughs> so I will be making a tank top. Um, oh, I should show you all this little tank top that I made for my granddaughter. I made it out of Tunisian crocheting in the round. Let me see if I can find it. 
No, it's not in here right now. I don't know where I have it. Oh, I thought I had it handy and I don't. Mm -hmm. I'll show it to y'all next time. Maybe I'll show it to you next Monday or so. <laughs> but yeah, I, I made her a really cute. That's how I taught myself how to Tunisian crochet in the round is when I was making my making my granddaughter a, uh, a tank top um, for when I came down here for her and I put flowers down on the bottom of the tank top area and I put little ruffles on the sleeves and yeah so it was really cute and I used the same yarn as the uh, Tunisian infinity scarf in the round I used that same yarn for her top and I added a, a solid green color as well as trim um Kay says are you going to start new projects and yeah i just got done saying that i'm going to do the ninja turtle hat soon and then wilma says i love your tutorials they are very clear and great to follow thank you that's what i'm saying that i hear that a lot and it makes me feel so good when i hear that because like i say i tend to worry that i'm not explaining myself well enough so when i hear that you guys are able to understand my instructions easily. Oh, that makes me feel so awesome. Thank you so much. Because I so want y'all to understand crochet and not give up on it and stuff. Because um, I know there was a couple times that I would have loved to have just given up because I'm like, oh no, I'm not smart enough for this. I can't get it. <laughs> so that's another reason I started this channel is because I thought, you know, I don't want anyone to feel like I did, like I wanted to give up or anything. I don't want anyone to give up on this because it's such an awesome, awesome craft. So I thought, well, let me try to explain it in a way that I needed it explained to me and see if I can see if people actually um, understand my explanations. And because I needed it explained to me like I was a five year old. I mean, when you're learning any when you're learning anything, you need it explained as simply as possible. And so that's what I try to do in a lot of my tutorials. I had one person about a month ago say, you talk to us like we're children. And that is not at all what I'm wanting to do. I'm wanting to explain it as basic as possible because when we're starting something new, it's as if we are children though, you know, cause you don't know how to do it, but I'm not trying to talk down to anyone. I'm just trying to explain it to people the way I needed it explained to me. So. Yeah, I kind of felt bad about that comment. And so she says, I couldn't even watch it. I, you know, because you're talking to us like, like we're children. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> that's the first I've ever heard that. So, yeah, but that's okay. I'm going to continue doing my thing my way because it's my channel. And because the majority of the 60 something thousand subscribers love it. So that's what I'm going to keep doing. And this was my vision for this channel was to... Um, make simplified tutorials so that everyone can understand I have and what people don't understand you know is that I don't I'm not just talking to adults I actually have young girls in here as young as 10 years old following my tutorials so I have to talk to everyone and you know people just don't think before they speak sometimes they they have to realize that I'm not just talking to adults I'm not just talking to women I'm talking to men I'm talking to children. Hey, the lighting comes out better when I put my hand right here. When I cover the light, maybe I should turn the light off. <laughs> um, so, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm easily distracted, huh? Seems like I'm a ADHD or something. <laughs> Lily says, are you doing your floor exercises? I am. My butt is so sore because I increased the repetitions last night. I love that it works. Yay! No, I haven't been. <laughs> I mean, I have, just not as regularly as I think you are. Wilma says, so you are traveling all around the USA? No, actually, we're here in Texas. We're living in an RV um, while we're transitioning ourselves because we still own a house in Washington State, um, which is kind of silly. We have a 3,300-square-foot house up there in Washington, five-bedroom house, bonus rooms we've got a big huge house over there and we're living in this 200 square foot place right now <laughs> but we're doing that because my glamour girls live here and i just can't live without them that house did not make me happy living in washington i was unhappy because i wasn't near my girls so this is kind of our transition this is what i kind of came up with to transition us down here 
and we'll probably do this for a year or two and then purchase once we get rid of the house in Washington we'll probably purchase a house down here so yeah I wish I could travel around the world I don't have the money to travel around the world that would be awesome um, Wilma says what about doing a butterfly top you know with very wide arms oh I hadn't thought about that I'll have to I'll have to look them up and see what they look like I can kind of picture what you're talking about but yeah I'll have to look and see what that looks what that would look like you know let me sit over here and see if I can turn things a little bit maybe the lighting will change on me and get a little better I'll figure this out eventually guys <laughs> okay so oh, that is a little better actually not as bright I actually have color in my face. Wilma says, no, don't worry. It cannot, well, I just lost it. It cannot be too easily explained. Well, <laughs> that's what I thought until I got that one comment. Teresa Gwynn says, you are definitely gifted. I love your tutorials. Thank you so much. I mean, thank you guys for watching them. Thank you for finding me. <laughs> I didn't think anybody was ever going to find me. I thought, eh, I'll make a tutorial. And uh, partly, like that, my first tutorial was that Chunky Beanie tutorial. And I made it partly for a couple reasons. So that I wouldn't forget how to do it. And I could just go back and watch my own video to know how to do it. Also, um, I thought, if someone happens to find me, I'm going to try to explain it as easily as I needed it explained to me. So I kind of started this channel for a couple reasons. Um, started crocheting because I needed to get my nerves in check. <laughs> and then started the channel because I thought, I want to try to help others learn to crochet in as simply of a way as possible. And if someone finds me, yay. And if not, I'll have them there for my own record so that I will always remember how to make that specific thing. So thank you for finding me and for watching my tutorials. Um, Lisa says, I love the way you explain crochet. You make it possible for beginners to make things that are a little more advanced, and that's because you explain things very well. Oh, thank you. Um, and that's exactly it. The key to that, I put a lot of thought into it. The key to that was... I want them to be able to make something gorgeous from their very first project. Therefore, I need to make Okay, so when I when I when a when a design pops into my head, I get my sketchbook, I start drawing it, and then it takes me weeks to think of the simplest way to actually make the pattern so that everyone can make it, whether you're picking up a crochet hook for the first day or whether you've been doing it a month or two years or 50 years or whatever. I want everyone to be able to make it and I want them to, I want y'all to pick up your hook and say, wow, I made this on my very first try and just fall in love with this craft like I have. So thank you for saying that because that's actually what my whole goal was, was to cater to, to, to beginners. Jones Blues and Jam says, I would like to learn how to crochet a pencil skirt. I have a drawing for that. You probably think I'm lying, but I do. I promise you I do. <laughs> I've been working at videos and haven't found one. Oh, looking at videos and haven't found one. Maybe in the future you will have a tutorial. Hey, babe, can you bring me my iPad for a second? I want to show them the, I don't know if it'll show up, but I want to show them that I have all kinds of drawings. And if you don't mind, can you bring me my, uh, my drawing pad, it's, it's in that little nook next to where I have all my books. But I'll show y'all that I'm not just seeing this. <laughs> so yeah, I have a pencil skirt in mind already to make. Um, maybe in the future you'll have a tutorial. And Lily says, was playing or visiting Texas this fall. Awesome. Any good advice as to where it might be okay to live for a week? Ah. I'll have to put some thought into that. <laughs> Eccentric Sister says, Drew is saying, hi, he's Jonah, my son's best friend. Hi, Drew. <laughs> nice to meet you. What are you doing there? Are you guys just visiting or 
um, I know you're not there watching glam all you just happen to walk by right <laughs> so Jonah is your son Kay, and Drew is your son's friend how awesome hi guys what are y'all doing today what are your plans and he always sees me watching you <laughs> Wilma says, I made the headband with the flower for my two girls. Everybody loves them. They are very feminine. Aren't they Aren't they just beautiful? I love them. I love how they turned out. I'm just not a hat person. I, I always think my nose is too big. So when I wear hats and stuff, it makes my nose stand out even more. But I loved it when I, when I made that. I loved it. Let me see if I can find that pencil skirt that I was telling you that I have des a design of. Let me see. This is so bright though that when I turn it turn it around, you probably won't even see it. It'll just look, yeah, it's not even gonna look like anything. <clears throat> it's already 1101 and we're still talking, guys. If anyone wants to leave, you can leave. <laughs> I understand. I'm usually only supposed to be on here an hour. So if any of y'all have plans and need to say goodbye, just let me know. Um, I I think I'm staying on here because I missed y'all and I, I haven't done this since Friday and so I know I'm not going to do this again till next Monday so I'm going to stay on here until we run out of things to talk about okay so I have these are all my crocheted I ideas oh dang it I knew you couldn't okay there you see you can see them those are all my drawings that I do on my iPad but this is my actual drawing pad with that I draw with um, but let me see if I can find that pencil skirt Oh, wait, you know that white top that everyone keeps asking me for the idea of? This is the idea that popped into my head, and then I had to figure out how to actually make it, and then I made it for my for my mannequin spring. <laughs> so, yeah, these are things that pop. Oh, and here's the back of it. That was the front, and here's the back. <laughs> so I brought that little idea to fruition, made it come about. Where is my pencil skirt? I know I have one on here. Where'd it go? I don't know. Here's a different skirt that I'm going to be planning on making soon. Where is it? I have to hold it up so that you can see. So that's one skirt that I'm planning on making soon. But I do have a pencil skirt in here somewhere. Come on. Y'all are probably talking and talking and talking to me, and I'm busy looking at stuff. Sorry. Let me see. Maybe it's in here. Oh, my glamma girl must have drew this when she was here this weekend. <laughs> she drew a picture on my iPad. You see it? Can't see it very good. Oh, it's a heart with a face. How cute. I didn't even know she did that till just now. Let me see. Where's my pencil skirt? Mm hmm. Sorry, guys. This is probably boring. Oh, here it is. Yay! So, I haven't quite finished the idea of how I'm going to do it, but... So, that's the idea. This is the back of it right here. I was going to have a couple bows near the butt area. I'm not sure yet, but that was going to be a little slit with a bow. And then this one right here isn't going to quite look exactly like that, but it's going to come to the waist... And then it's going to kind of veer down a little bit, give it a little sexy look. But that's just one idea for summer. Um, and then I'll have another idea where it's just all the way up to the waist um, with no with no little sexiness going on. <laughs> but, yeah, I have all kinds of ideas, guys. Um, you have no idea. Like I said, working for yourself, starting your own little business takes up so much time because I just keep getting ideas. And let me see. This will come out better. This is another idea for a top that I have that I will kind of try to figure out how to make it in crochet. Here's another idea for a top that I have. Um, this is the drawing that I did when I made the doggy dress that I made. I have all kinds of stuff in here. This was my idea for a scuddy but I ended up changing it so I'm gonna make this one eventually too so anyway yeah this was my idea when I made the poncho <laughs> so anyway 
I want to talk to y'all instead of showing y'all stuff. Kay says, you encouraged me to make a pattern myself. Yay! Cool. It's easy, right? Well, you know what happened is I was watching tutorials and following their tutorials, like the Hello Kitty fingerless gloves part. It, theirs wasn't a Hello Kitty. It was just the fingerless gloves part. But then I added the little ruffles, and then I added the Hello Kitty face. And then I made Melodora's SpongeBob hat. And by learning how to do things like that, I just started getting ideas of, oh, now that I know how to make an armhole, I'm going to make this kind of a top. Now that I know how to do this, I can make this. So just by learning different techniques online, I'm able to come up with my own designs and run with it. You know, <laughs> um, So that's awesome, Kay, that you're coming up with your own patterns now. Lily says, oh, 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 I have to tell you. Friday, I went to my best friend's farm. She's a sheep farmer, and I watched every sheep having an ultrasound. Wow, that was so cool. And I got to cuddle a lot of lovely sheep. Oh, that is so cute. Wow, a sheep farm. Awesome. Kim says, hi. <laughs> hi, Leticia. Hi, everyone. I'm late today, LOL. Hope you had a good week. I know I should be gone already, Kim, but I'm glad you made it in here. I was just telling everyone that I'm still on because I know that I'm not going to do this again till Monday. So I want to stay on as long as I can <laughs> till we get bored of each other. No, I can't stay on too, too long. But Jones Blues and Jam says, nice. Can't wait. Oh, for the for the uh, pencil skirt? Yeah. Um, Eccentric Sister says, Drew comes over from work for lunch. My son is a cook. Oh, awesome. Awesome. So how old is your son and, um, and his friend? I thought maybe they were still like in high school or something, but it sounds like they're already grown, huh? They have jobs and everything. Um, Lily says, kind of cool for me who crochet and knit a whole lot to visit the animals who's yeah, exactly. Who's the provider for my yarn here in Norway? Norway's big on wool because it's so cold. You said, haha, nice drawings. <laughs> um, yeah, it's so hard to draw on an iPad. But when I've got an idea, I don't I just look for the first thing I can draw on. <laughs> um yeah, that is cool. And the cool thing about it is the animals don't have to die for us to have the yarn. They just we just shave them so that they can be nice and cool in the summertime, right? And we get and their their wool doesn't go to waste. We get to use it. We're recycling. <laughs> Wilma says, I'm from Germany but are in Canada right now. In Germany, it's very common to knit or crochet. People are sitting in cafes and are doing some crochet. That is so awesome. I'm telling you, that's what I want to do. My dream is to have a two-story building where I live on the top, have an apartment on the top, have a storefront down on bottom that is a coffee house slash yarn store slash used bookstore and have old furniture where we can just kick back, put our feet up, either read books or crochet or knit or something or just have coffee and chit chat. And then in the back room, I could do crochet lessons. <laughs> <clears throat> that is so awesome to live in a place like that. Shannon L. Fowler, hi, says, hi, Glamma. I just happened to click on the video, and when it came on, it was live. Woohoo! <laughs> I love your shirt, the flappy sleeves, awesome. Oh, thank you, and I've only wore this a couple times um, because the flappy sleeves are really long, and I feel like a little girl when I'm wearing it, like, oh, my hands don't even stick out. But, no, I love it, um, and I love houndstooth. As a matter of fact, Hold on a second. Incoming call from 2109. Um, I also wore this because I've got another idea for what I'm going to be doing either this week or next week. I'm going to come up with a um, some kind of project where I'm going to crochet houndstooth pattern on it. So, yay, I'm so excited. I love the houndstooth design or the houndstooth, what would you call it, pattern? The Anyway, <laughs> I love how houndstooth looks. Um, but thank you. And so, Shannon, you're new in here, I think. I don't think I've seen your name in here before. And then someone in here from 
Safe, oh, her name, his or her name is Safe Pet Haven. I'd like to see the sketches you hold up, but they're all looking like blank white pages because of the glare. Yes, I know. That's why I held them at a weird angle. <laughs> so I, I actually did see them once I held them up at a weird angle. Patricia Thompson says, hi, Glamma and everyone. Hi, Patricia, you're in here, yay. Wilma says, have you tried the ice yarn from Turkey anymore? Um, okay, hold on. I lost my spot. And no, I haven't tried the ice yarn from Turkey. Um, sounds fantastic though. Safe Pet Haven says, also the camera needs a few seconds to focus on what you're holding up. You're only holding the pages still to the camera, less than a full second, want to see. Sorry, wow. <laughs> you're letting me know everything I'm doing wrong, aren't you? <laughs> well, um, you obviously haven't watched one of my live events before yet, because um, I always tell everyone that there's like a one or a two minute delay in here. So yeah, you just kind of have to be patient. Eccentric sister says they are your son's age. Oh, okay, in their 30s, huh? Yeah. Awesome. Lily says, I got something exciting today in my mail. What is it? What is it? <laughs> Curls on spray. I just hope it works because my Scandinavian hair is so flat. <laughs> Going to color my hair and try it tonight. Yay, I can't wait to see a pic. Put a pic up in... um in our Facebook group page. I'd like to see it. That's a cre that's creative, right? That's a craft, changing up your hair. It's still artsy. <laughs> um, Lily says, we're big on crafting in public in Norway. That is so cool. I wish I lived there then, but I don't like cold weather. Thank heavens, she says. I'm going back to the hospital tomorrow and I'm bringing my crochet hooks. You're going to the hospital? For what for your fibro shannon says yep i'm new i've never caught it live before yay welcome <laughs> jones blues and jam have to go but enjoy your live show all right bye see you monday hopefully <laughs> emma's in here now emma says hi glamma where are you i just lost you i scrolled up and i lost you hi glamma was watching on my tablet but now was able to log in cool because now you can actually comment right y'all can't comment from your ipads or your smartphones you have to either be on a laptop it's it seems or on a desktop computer that's what we're finding out in here um <sighs> eccentric sister says you know i had a beauty shop and lived above it that brought all kinds of yarn and yarn work crafts etc wow that's cool gracie's in here hi grace hi glamma how are you i'm sick with bronchitis oh poor thing Drink lots of fluids and with honey in it and all kinds of good stuff. Yeah. Stay indoors where it's nice and warm. And don't talk too much. <laughs> no, bronchitis is where it's in your chest, isn't it? <laughs> and you're coughing a lot. I had that for like two years. Not two years straight, but two years in a row. I had it for like a couple months. Um, the year that I met Adam, I got it really, really bad. And... I couldn't talk, I couldn't breathe, you know, so I just chose not to talk too much, but yeah, it's so hard on you and your lungs fill up and yeah, it's awful. I think that's bronchitis, right? Yeah, where your lungs fill up with fluid and stuff um, and you're coughing all the time and it's not fun. Safe Pet Haven says, nope, not criticizing. I'm interested in what you're sharing, but if I can't see it, it's lost. Lily says, sure, I'll take a before and after picture. Awesome. Yeah, and, you know, Safe Pet Haven, I even said that when I show it, it's probably just going to be a glare. I don't know if you heard me say that, but at least I tried. <laughs> I tried to show y'all. Um... Lisa says, got to go. We'll check in next Monday. Have a great week, everyone. Bye, Lisa. Thanks for checking in with us and visiting and chatting with me. And Safe Pet says, ice yarn from Turkey, commonly found on eBay. Okay. Whoa, I just lost my spot. 
Lily says, fibro cons consultations, okay. I'm in the final rounds of finding out if there is any work left in me. Oh, they are amazing at the hospital, so understanding and helpful. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so you, you're trying to find out if, it, if it's possible to, to be able to work a secular job at all? Is that, is that what you mean? And then Kim says, I've been watching your Tunisian cow project. It's so pretty. Oh, thank you, Kim. Um, I have some interchangeable crochet hooks with a cable. Cool. So I might be able to try it, although my largest hook in that set is 8 millimeter. Try it anyway, because I was actually going to use a smaller hook. I just thought, nah, let me use a bigger hook so that it's more, so that I used a bigger hook so that the stitches wouldn't be so tight and stiff because I want to wear it for spring so that it's, you know, it. The bigger the stitches, the more movement there is to this, you know, to the stitches, to the fabric. So that's why I used a big nine millimeter hook, but the eight millimeter hook would be awesome. Try it. Somebody was asking me in my Facebook group page, Glamour, do I have to have a, a Tunisian crochet hook with a cable or can I just use a regular Tunisian hook? And I don't think you can if you're going to make it the same size as mine or longer because I think I did like 150 or 150. I think I said 150 in the tutorial, but it might have been 152. I don't know. But you would need a Tunisian cable hook because there's so many stitches. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait to see yours, Kim. <laughs> Emma says, ginger tea with lemon works well. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, that's a good, that's a good remedy, it sounds like. Oh, I have someone in here. Oh, can't see the name. Pujono, Pujono, Roman says, best video for my wife, how to crochet for beginner. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And I'm so sorry if I butchered your name. I'm, I, if, if you want, you can spell it out phonetically so that I know how to say it. It's P-U-G-I-O-N-O. -O. Pujono or Pujono, something like that. Desiree Walsh is new in here. She says, I just got back into crocheting. It is helping with my anxiety and depression. I don't know if you watched any of my other live events, but that's exactly why I started crocheting a year and a half ago is because of my social anxiety and my depression. It stops me from thinking negative thoughts. I love it. See, exactly, bingo. That's exactly why I started um, crocheting and why I started this channel because it keeps me busy, keeps my mind off things. Um, <clears throat> Safe Pet says it's, I can't find her word. I just lost it. I scrolled up and I lost her. Safe Pet, it's really hard to find natural fiber crochet yarns for allergy reasons to chemical synthetic. That doesn't break the bank. Aw, yeah. And I haven't bought really, really expensive yarns ever yet at this point because I'm, I'm not making stuff to sell anymore, so I usually just buy Red Heart Saver just to teach with on tutorials, but that doesn't mean that's the yarn you need to use. You can use more expensive yarns. It's just that for tutorial purposes, I use Red Heart Super Saver, um, but I would love to buy some nice yarns. I just can't afford it right now. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. They, they tend to break your bank, right? $10 a skein sometimes. So my tutorial I just use Red Heart Super Saver for like two ninety something at Walmart. So that's why I, I tend to buy that. The nicer yarn that I buy is probably Red Heart with Love, and that's only like five dollars, um, if even that. I think it's four something. Um, but I love Red Heart with Love because it's so soft. So as long as I can keep affording that, I'm okay because <laughs> I love that soft, soft yarn. Um, I also like Vanna's Choice, and I like. Uh, I like Karen Simply Soft, but it tends to kind of leave little fuzz balls. Like if you make a sweater out of it, it makes little fuzz balls. I don't know what you call that. There's a pelt. Is that called pelting? Where it kind of pelts up or something? I think that's what the word is. Desiree says, don't mean to be negative. I just love it. and Love your videos. Can't wait to do more projects. Don't mean to be negative about what? Oh, no, you're not being, oh, when you're talking about your anxiety and depression, girl, um, you, if you watch my, my old live events on my Wake Up With Glamour channel, I talk about that stuff. Um, I talk about 
all the things I've been diagnosed with and that and the reason I talked about it is because that's why I got into this is because I had I've been diagnosed with social anxiety, bipolar tendencies, um, deep depression, PTSD, which is post traumatic stress um, disorder. I've been diagnosed with a lot of stuff and this is what I have found to cope with it all is crocheting and then two months after crocheting I thought about starting my own channel so that I could teach beginners and I thought if people find me they find me if they don't they don't but at least I'm doing something that's keeping myself busy and something that I love to do so don't if you ever need to talk to me about anything let's talk about it we can talk about anything um, I had someone on my Wake Up With Glamo channel say, um, do you think we can talk about specific topics each day, each time that you come on? And that's what I was doing on my Wake Up With Glamo channel when it was called at the end of the day with Glamo. I was, I was picking topics like depression, um, bullying. I was picking topics and that's what I was talking about. But I thought, let me try to do something differently that's more upbeat, uplifting, happy. And so that's when I changed that channel name into Wake Up With Glamour because I want to bring joy and happiness and positivity. But this isn't just for, even though it's on my crochet channel, we can talk about beauty, hair, makeup, nails, um, social ish. I mean, um, what do you call it? Current events. I, don't, I want to stay away from religion and politics, but if we need to talk about girly things or emotions or just feelings, I'm all for it. Let's do it, you know? I know there's guys in here too, so they may not be interested in all those things, but um, yeah, but guys go through depression too. They go through anxiety. Everyone goes through it. It's not just a, it's not one gender. It's not a one gender thing. Um, so no, don't worry about you being negative because I fully understand. And there's a few of us in here that are actually in here right now that have talked about having depression as well. So no, don't even, don't even feel bad. Okay. So, okay, I'm getting ready to leave guys. So if you have any questions or comments for me, go ahead and leave them now. Um, Oh, and like I had said, you may not have seen this on my Wake Up With Glamma channel, but this live event, um, please don't think me being harsh right now by saying this, but I don't want this to turn into a chat room where you guys are like chatting with each other back and forth. I want it more, this is more for y'all to get to know me and for me to get to know y'all. So it's more of a live event Q&A for me and for me to ask y'all stuff. But if we start talking to each other in the chat box there, then... Um, it becomes more like a chat room and I've gotten lots of comments saying that that's not what a live e what this live event is for or it's for them getting to know me and me getting to know them so we're gonna keep it like that we don't want this to turn into a chat room so if y'all have questions or comments for me I would love to see them on the sidebar over here um, but yeah it's not really for us to uh, chat with each other y'all can go to my Facebook group page and we can chat in there um, or comment back and forth to each other in there. Um, I am completely lost. I want to get all of your questions too. I don't want to leave anyone out. One dark winter. Hi, that person's new in here. Does Okay, well, she's asking a, a question for everyone, and I'm not going to make this a chat room, so I'm not going to really read it. Um, if you want to ask me a question, that's fine, but we're going to try to just keep it question and answer for, for me and me for you. Um, and I don't know what that is. You're asking about an Assassin's Creed hoodie, where you can find the pattern. I have no idea other than just doing a search for it on Google or in here on YouTube. Um, what, babe? Assassin's Creed is a video game. Oh, it's a video game? Yeah. But they're asking for a hoodie. And now I don't know what that would look like. Oh, okay. They're asking for an Assassin's Creed hoodie or where they could find the pattern, and I have no idea. <laughs> um, but, yeah, just maybe do a search is all I can say. Um, okay. 
you know, Safe Pet is talking to Desiree, but we're not going to keep this a chat room, guys. So just talk to me. <laughs> Eccentric Sister says, got to go to vet. Love, love, be happy. Bye for now. Bye. And I hope your cat's okay. Hope your son's cat is okay. I'll be praying for it. Poor little chitty cat. <laughs> Poor little kitty cat. Okay. Lily says, yep, we're finding out if I have to retire at my age or if there is any possibility for me to begin working again. And I hope there is. I want to work. I was in. I was an apprentice in a florist shop when I crashed. Aw, that sounds like such a fun thing to do, being in a floral shop. Um. So yeah, I I hope you're going to be able to work again. That sounds awesome. And then you can make it to the United States even faster, maybe. Because <laughs> I know that's one of the requirements. I mean, there's there's different things that you can do. I know you said to make it to the U.S., but that was one of them, right? To know that you've got a job waiting for you or something. Desiree says, thanks, Glamma. Um, and then, okay, G for the J-I, Pugiono. So it's, so now am I saying it right? Or is it Pugiono? Because you can do either a G as a G sound or a G. So I think you're saying Pugiono or Pugiono. Something like that. I'm so sorry. Yari Hernandez says, hi, Glamo. I'm so glad I can be here. My first time being at the live event. Oh, it is? Yeah, I've talked to you several times. And I've, I've um, responded back and forth with you. But yeah, yay, you finally made it. And you almost didn't because I was supposed to be gone at 11 and it's 1127. But I'm having so much fun talking to y'all that I'm still here. <laughs> but I'm going to leave in like two minutes or so. So I'm going to read the last of the comments and then I'm going to have to say goodbye. So let's get our goodbyes going. But I want to read every, oh, pilling, that's what it's called. I said pelting, it's pilling. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> It is called that. I just, I had only heard the word once and I couldn't remember what it was. So thank you so much. Um, Safe Pet says, I don't have a choice. The yarn making contact with skin breaks me out in the blisters. Yuck. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, that is sad that you have to spend a lot of money just to be able to crochet or knit or something. Gracie says, I want to make the scarf, but I'm afraid I'll mess it up. But I'll try it. You're just so good. Oh, which scarf? Do you mean the, Tunis the Tunisian scarf? Grace, if that's what you're afraid of, I tell you, I think Tunisian crocheting is easier than regular crocheting. Honestly, I really, really do think that it's easier. Um, yeah, so try it. Don't, don't be scared of it if that's what you're talking about. Safe Pet says, or Felting. No, um, Felting is is where it's all where you turn yarn your projects into what looks like felt but no what i'm talking about are the little bumps or fuzzies that go on scarves and stuff on sh on sweaters and stuff and so the word is i think kim said it was pilling yeah pilling or something i just forgot now dang it she just said it and i just forgot it darn yeah pel yeah pilling p-i-l-l-i-n-g there it is um, Safe Pet says synthetic yarn, that is, as well as chemical dyes used in the colors. That's too bad. Linda Cleveland says, hi, Glamma. And then she says, love you. I love you, too. <laughs> You're in here. Yay. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of new people in here. Next time we got to, um, I, I, I have it on there. I have it set for every Monday so that y'all can um, look, at, look at my channel and know that I'll be on here every Monday at 10 o'clock central time i don't know where you're at but it'll be 10 o'clock central time so it's usually from 10 o'clock to 11 so i should be gone but i'm enjoying you guys so much i'll be gone here in a minute lily says talking about depression is not being negative it's being strong yeah admitting that that you're having these issues to me is not a weakness it's it's your um bringing awareness to it because a lot of people don't talk about it. And I know that I've been thanked several times for talking about it because everyone is embarrassed of it. And there's nothing to be embarrassed of. You know, we're living in hard times right now and it's not uncommon for people to be depressed or to have anxiety or to have any emotional issues or I don't know if they would be considered emotional issues, but just to have issues like that, you know, 
I'm a happy, bubbly person, but I'm a person. And so I, I, I have that, I, I have different facets to me. I have good days, I have bad days. And uh, there's nothing wrong with talking about it and bringing awareness to it because maybe by me talking about it, you know, other people will be willing to talk about it, their depression, and not do something negative. Like, you know, a lot of teenagers hold in their depression and then they end up committing suicide and no one knows why. And there might have been signs, there may not have been signs, but if we can talk about it more and everyone can talk about it more and get it off their chest, you know, get it off their shoulders, get any advice that they might need or just get love and understanding from someone that's willing to listen to them talk about it, um, could be saving lives. So there's nothing wrong with talking about it. You're absolutely right, Lily. And that's why I have talked about it. And at first I apologized about it because I didn't want anyone to think negative. But, you know, after lots of people telling me, thank you so much for talking about this, um, I, I feel no shame and no regret having ever started talking about it. <clears throat> Linda says, hi, Glamma. Love you to bits. XO, 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 XO. <laughs> Lots of XOs. And then she says, don't leave yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been on here a half hour past the time I was supposed to be on. But I'm going to read all the comments, and then we'll start saying goodbye. But I'll be back on Monday. Um, and I love you too. <laughs> Patricia Thompson says, bye, Glamma. Bye to everyone. Bye, Patricia. Desiree Walsh says, thanks. Oh, I just lost you. I just scrolled up and lost you. Thanks for all of, thanks for all your Glamma kind words. Aw, you're welcome. Have a good day. Bye. Bye, Desiree. And don't forget to join me back here again on Monday at 10 o'clock Central Time. I love talking to y'all. Yadi says, how are your Glamour girls doing? They're doing good. They're getting big. My oldest Glamour, I mean, I'm only 4'11 and a half, but still, she's only eight years old, and she's, like, right here on me. <laughs> and uh, they're just, they're so awesome. They are they have huge hearts, and they're, they're just, um, I don't know, they're just beautiful little girls. And I'm so glad that I'm here to see them growing up and stuff. I, I was, uh, I was in Washington without them for like two years, but we visited often. But I'm so glad that I'm here permanent now, to see everything. And they, they know they have me to talk to. If they don't feel like they can talk to their mom or to their dad, they always know that Glamma's here to listen as a sounding board. And I'm not going to judge them. Um, yeah, so I'm so glad that I'm here for them. Lily says, it's fun being a florist. I'm always making something personal and bring it, bring at funerals and other events. So this week I'm going shopping to make a heart. Oh, wow. That sounds interesting. Oh, I've got someone new in here. Claudia Garcia says, hi, Glamour. Can you make a basket tutorial in the near future? Love you to bits. A basket. I'll put that on my list. I have a huge list. I'll put it on there. <laughs> Linda says, this is my first time at the live event too. Love you so much. So sad that I got on here too late. Well, we're still here, so don't leave yet. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm so glad you made it, too. Um, Gracie says, bye, Glamma. Love you. Bye, Gracie. See you next time. Kim says, you're six hours behind me. It's 5.30 p.m. in the evening. Yes, for any of y'all that don't know, Kim Curry is from the U.K., and so it's evening time over there. Lily is also from over there and so it's around that same time over there for her she's in um she's in norway lily's in norway and let me see i don't have any more comments so i think i'm going to say goodbye i think i've caught up with all my comments at least because there's a delay so there might be more but i haven't gotten them yet oh here's someone already done hi you're back i've been here listening glamma bye have a great day bye <laughs> Next time, at least say hi so I can say hi to you. And then if you don't want to say anything else, just say hi and then say bye so I know that you're here. Bye. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here at Made with Love by Glamma for my Wake Up with Glamma live event. And, um, yeah, I was really, really enjoying doing my Wake Up with Glamma daily events over there on my Wake Up with Glamma channel. But been going through some personal issues that I'm trying to work out and until I get all that um, 
till I'm able to deal with it a little better. I think I'm just going to do my live events on here. So it'll be Monday's Wake Up With Glamour on Made With Love by Glamour. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for everyone for joining me. And uh, I really, really love you guys. I enjoy talking talking to you. I love getting to know you. And um, yeah, thank you for watching my tutorials and crocheting along with me. All of y'all that I've gotten to know that I've um, actually spoke to a lot on my live events and in my Facebook group page. I've said this before, but I actually like those of y'all that have pictures on your little thumbnails for your accounts and stuff. When I'm actually talking on my tutorial, I know you're only seeing my hands, but I'm actually talking to all of y'all. Those of y'all that I talk to on a regular basis, I'm envisioning your little thumbnails and envisioning your faces, your smiles. And so I'm really talking to you guys. And um, yeah, just know that a lot of people tell me that I feel like you're talking to me as a friend, like we're friends and we're in the room together. And that's exactly what I want. So I'm so glad that that's getting projected onto y'all that that I view y'all as a friend and I love getting to know y'all and the more I get to know you the more of a friend you become so I'm gonna read some goodbyes that I see here Lily says haha you should make a basket to keep all the finished tutorial projects in have a nice day preparing for hair coloring over here bye for now bye Lily and um, oh on my Facebook group page for any of y'all that that don't know I started a contest about four weeks ago it's it's a weekly contest and because I didn't, I don't want that Facebook group page to be about me. I, I'm trying to figure out a way to, to where I can honor y'all and make it about y'all and put y'all in the spotlight. So what I did, I started this four weeks ago, is I'll say, okay, it's contest time. And I've got rules on there, which there's no rules other than the fact that it has to be made by you. It can be any craft. Um, as long as it's made by you, it doesn't matter if it's a past project or, or a current project or a recent project as long as it's made by you and just submit one photo you can only put one photo on there a week and everyone's been putting their photos in there their projects and whoever gets whichever project gets the most likes at the end will actually get their picture they'll get highlighted up on the cover photo picture of my group page so yay so I've had um so like I said I think I've had three or four weeks of it and so last night there was it was a tie again last week it was a tie it was a pair of socks and a little coin purse that one so I put them up there this week again it's another tie so I'm gonna go post that as soon as I'm done with the live event I'm gonna go post the winners pictures up on the cover photo area but y'all need to go over there and uh, every Friday I post that it's contest time and so Friday morning, and you got to get your photos in right away. You got to get them in in the morning on Friday because the quicker you get your photos in there, the more votes you get. If you don't, like, I, I felt so bad. Some people were putting photos in Sunday evening, and the contest was going to end in a, like an hour or two. So the later you get your pictures in, the less votes you're going to get because there's not as much time. So hurry up and get your photos in on Friday morning, and um, people get to vote from Friday morning all the way until Sunday 8 p.m. Central Time. And then I pick a winner. And then on Monday, they get their picture up on the cover photo. So yay! They get a little spotlight on them for a whole week. <laughs> so this week, it's another tie. So I'll be going and putting that picture up. So Yadi says, bye, Glamma. Um, have a great day. Bye, Yadi. I'm so glad you were able to make it in here. And I can't wait to talk to you again on Monday. Linda says, bye, Glamma. Have a great day. Won't miss the next one. All right, bye-bye. Kim says, bye, Leticia. Bye, everyone. Hope you all have a great week. Take care. All right, guys. Bye. And bye, Kim. And uh, all right. It's time for me to say goodbye. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much once again for joining me here. It's been fun. And um, it lifts my spirits. And so I'm going to be thinking about my um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle tutorial that I'll be making here this week. Um, so, yeah. Thank you so much, and I love you. And don't forget how much Glamour loves you. And don't forget to love yourselves and everyone that you come in contact with. If we continue to do that, just show everybody love around us. You know, I know that we can't change the world by ourselves, but if we continue to always love the people that we come in contact with, and they do the same, and they do the same, then you know what? We can make the world a better place, a more loving, kind place, rather than... Um, 
tearing people down. Let's lift each other up and love each other. All right, guys. I love you so much. Mwah. Bye.